Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. I've got SNL in the house. I've got Judah Friedlander in the house. I feel like I've seen everybody except for you, Sashir. You're kind of joining our friendship club in this interview now. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> She's like, I don't want to join. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad to be a part of it. Thanks for having me. All right, guys. I wasn't aware there was a club or anything. You were part of my club. Oh, I didn't, I didn't we, know. We do do you want out? Does everybody, everybody just want out of my friendship no, I club? No, I didn't know I was in it. I, I wasn't aware it was going on. You saw each other last week. We're I know, BFFs. but I didn't, I didn't know that... I've paid thousands that meant of dollars of dues. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I, didn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't put aware of, like, membership or anything you like that. You get a little that. card. I charge. It. Oh, you're going to see yeah, your credit card statement a, this was, month. It was just a, a conversation. <laughs> so you're saying, I now owe dues. Yes, <laughs> which Bobby has paid and may pay for I'm all it. paid up. Everything's been like, going great. You guys are So you guys like are the membership. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, this is why you should see their new movie, by the way, on Nickelodeon, because they have great chemistry. All right, guys, so you did the first animated Christmas feature for Nickelodeon. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Talk to me all about Albert and the journey this little tree goes on. You're Albert. I am I'm Albert. Well, I'm Bobby, but I play <laughs> Albert. Uh, Albert is a, a little Douglas fir tree that uh, has big dreams of uh, going to Empire City to be the Empire City Christmas tree. And uh, with the help of his friends, he goes on that journey. So, Sheer, you play his best friend I in the movie. I You are his, uh, uh, both on and off camera, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Talk to me about your character on the I in play the film. Maisie, and I am a palm tree. And I'm just very excited for... Phones. Are friends are calling you during our interview? They're very that's, upset they're about not the in membership. The club. That's, uh, it's membership for your club. I'm, I'm behind on my dues. <laughs> this is the credit card company calling him. Yeah. He's been rejected. Oh, man. So back to your character. Yes, I play Maisie, a palm tree, and uh, I'm just so excited to see Albert reach his dreams, and I'm just like the most supportive throughout this whole journey. I'm coming to you now, Judah. How about you? What are you in this? What are you playing with in well, Albert's circle my, of friends? If my dues, <laughs> if they don't get my dues by tomorrow, I'm kicked out of the club. They said, I'll, I'm, I'll gonna make, I'll I'm gonna oh, make an exception. Yeah, thanks, thank Actually, you. Actually, we're just gonna thank up you. it by 50%. <laughs> oh, wow, all right. I guess whatever it takes. Uh, well, I play Gene and uh, he's like a little weed. Uh, and I really kind of, help you out yeah yeah you live in my thought with me yeah so i'm like a, a weed you know they're they kind of latch on to other people but they're survivors you know they know they know how they're they're tough and they grow anywhere so i kind of know i know the country i know the city and i kind of help uh help everyone kind of navigate around you might be the most helpful of the three yeah, I think so. Probably. Definitely more, most knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah. I know nothing. <laughs> I'm very You're you're useless. Just very, very <laughs> I probably yes. As Gene the weed, I'm probably old too. I'm probably like an old weed that somehow has never been destroyed. <laughs> you know, a lot of times we, weeds are, like you know, <laughs> yeah, they're often you know attacked first by the the corporations. You know, because got me in tears already. <laughs> how's some, how's something like this different from SNL? and stand-up comedy for you guys. This is animated. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know if they told I'm a, you that. I'm aware. I said it at the top of the interview. Yes. First oh, animated. so you do know. Okay, I great. do. That means cartoon. I, I prepared for all 12 seconds, I promise. <laughs> Outside of that, how is it different? Um, well, we just did a lot of voiceover sessions over the course of a year, so it's not like a continuous show where we come in like every week and do the same thing. It was like, you know, you get called in and you, you read some of the same lines over and over again, and sometimes with the same people. Um, but yeah, it's just like a different process where you kind of don't need to care about how you look. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> Come in PJs, <laughs> talking to a mic, and then like make funny voices. Am I supposed to care how I look on SNL? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we also get SNL done in a week, and this has been like a nice long, get to, you know, it's been a long process of recording and stuff, and the whole animation process takes, you know, started what a year ago yeah I get about it yeah. yeah how stressful is it when you're doing SNL I mean obviously we see the finished product and it's great but how crazy is it for you guys during that week Judah yeah, do you Judah? yeah. Uh, uh, Judah? <laughs> let me speak for I weirdly all do. of SNL of <laughs> I weirdly I, do feel like you work here though because of 30 Rock. yeah I know it is kind of weird it's like even when yeah even when I come in the building it's like yeah, it's the whole thing's just so. You're uh, coming to the building the, of a set that you used to work in. Yeah, yeah, and then we actually did two episodes in here. Yeah, 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 and we stay and we were in your. I think dressing I was rooms. in. I think one year I was in Kate McKinnon's dressing mm -hmm. room, and another year I can't remember whose it was. Alec but had my dressing room. 
Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So so we we did a live show a couple of times, and it was, I don't know, I think it was a, a, a good stress. It's you know? fun. Yeah, I mean, it's I, the best. I, it's very stressful, but then <laughs> at 1 o'clock in the morning, you feel like you, you did something very special. Yeah, and then you have a party. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, the best part of it. When we and, did and legendary rock. rockers come and yeah. perform. And when we did Thirty Rock, we would film for eight months straight, and then maybe there'd be one party. <laughs> you they guys, party every week. You guys do a, sh a party, a show, and a party every week. But I don't know. I think the live stuff is. I mean, you guys must have just so much fun doing that because it's Bless. you know. Is it an enjoyable experience? I mean, outside yeah. of the stress, is it as enjoyable as what we feel when we watch it on television? Yeah, it's also fun to be in front of a live audience. Like I, I love performing in front of yeah. live crowds so that's that element's still there which feels really nice so you get to connect with the people who are in the room with you as well as the people at home but it feels like a nice like private show that they're getting yeah in doing something like this there's so many memorable christmas films do you hope to join the pantheon of those christmas no. films <laughs> Of course, <laughs> yes, of course, yeah. yeah so I awesome. gave you too much leeway with that. Absolutely not. I hope no one. No one ever watches yeah, it. No, I hope everyone watches it. It yeah. would be very, very cool. I also I watched Nickelodeon so much when I was younger, so it's mm -hmm. very cool to be part of the first animated movie that they're doing. Yeah.